Hey y'all, we got a little extra time today, so we're gonna do a twofer on today's daily. I found our score. I think you maybe just need to uh, restart the game in order to find your leaderboard score. But for the daily, which would have been yesterday's episode, for the 10-5, uh, we scored uh, 6, 67,300, actually. If we look at the cross play and go to ourselves, we were at 750. Overall, we were 469, for I believe that makes this just PC. So, I mean, you know, top 500, I'm not gonna complain about that too much, to be honest with you. So, we're gonna play old Jay. He is a dedicated Spelunky head. We can actually... Dude, the freaking the penguin's too cute. Hey, what's in here? And then I, um, so if we check our people thing, you got these guys we've already been through. Coco Von Diamonds, Lil J is a self-proclaimed spelunky head trying to become a famous explorer. Gets a little overly excited around his heroes. My guess is that this is a reference to someone in the community. I feel like there's no way it isn't. This is Demi Von Diamonds. May recognize her as the uh, damsel in distress in the first game, I believe. The heiress in the Von Diamonds empire. She lived a pampered life but is eager to learn more about the world. <clears throat> Poor shopkeepers, poor Yang. There's Madame Tusk, most famous resident of the caves, or at least she'd like to think so. Um, Tusk's bodyguard. We also found this Waddler, who apparently like saves items. He runs an item storage and transportation business. I don't really know what his deal is, but we've been killed by. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Those killed by stats are going to be real interesting at some point. What else do we have over here in our little base area? This is under construction. New shortcut coming soon from Mama Tunnel. Keep an eye on Margaret for me, won't you? Okay, okay. That's our shortcut going to 1-4. But we, we ain't messing with that. I think that we're going to take a slight shift in our focus. We're going to we're gonna we're gonna work on extending the run. We're gonna stop messing around with our. Uh, I know we've been pretty obsessed with the vampire route lately, and we've thrown away a couple of pretty all right runs in the name of Van Helsing and his crew and his ilk. There are so many freaking dudes there. So I think that we're gonna take the back foot on that for a moment. Eep. We're just gonna focus on getting as far as possible, getting to Olmec, getting past him, and kind of seeing those levels that are a little bit deeper in. Because I think that doing that will legitimately, like, the oh, the practice that that gives us is going to help us inordinately. <laughs> One of my favorite words of the week, I guess. Next to furl. Alright, grab a little dosh, head on to the next floor. I mean, this is a hard... A hard pass I'm to make. I'm not gonna lie to ya. He didn't have a skeleton key, which we would have loved to see. But the spike shoes and uh, the bomb box. Gonna have to catch me on a pretty bad day to not kill a shopkeeper for one of those. For both of those, rather. If we can score, like, a paste, or... Got him. Got him again. So now, our main concern... Our main focus with extending the run... Oh, a Kali altar. Alright, 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 alright. dunk a dunk a dunk dunk a dunk Uh, excuse me. Let's just get our shotgun over to the exit.
I was about to say that our main concern is going to be HP, but this is a different kind of uh, prioritizing HP. Because we, in our, in our chain of events here, getting a Kapala would be so nice. Can't make that, unfortunately. Oh, we crushed the shopkeeper. Damn, dude. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Da -dun, da -dun, dun That is fine. That is totally fine. And honestly, we don't need to uh, prioritize... Ooh, skeleton key? Oh, I'm kind of fucked up here. Uh, we don't need to prioritize the this key as nearly as much. We're still going to try to pick it up and see what we can do with it. Eh, probably not going to do anything with it, to be honest with you. Because, like, since we're not doing the vampire stuff... I don't see too much of a need for all that. We did... We played this one a little bit too fast and loose. We're going to have to spend some extra. I'm going to spend bombs so we can save our last rope. Feeling alright about that. Spike shoes, of course. Mwah. If we can get another uh, sack room on a turkey floor, we can basically guarantee us the Kapala. But I'm not super sure that we can make that happen. There we go. Dunk, uh, dunky. Oh no, he jumped off too soon. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. Done. He's mad. Nobody's surprised that he's mad. Uh, we are surprised that I left my shotgun back at the other place. Actually, not surprised about that at all. I'm very, very forgetful in this game sometimes. Even debatably more so than I am easily excited, I am forgetful. Ah! Okay, he got us good there. I really honestly expected him to fall on the, the spikes. So we can run it back. There's nothing wrong with that. Boom, look at that. Deal with that early aggression. Even the little hundred bits will help. Oh, jeez. Dude, these guys, we're going to hit you with an instant restart on that one. I decided on stream the other day that I'm going to have give myself a mental instant restart uh, allowance. Oh, the pace, dude. That's so incredibly good. But I give myself a mental uh, instant restart allowance allowance because I can definitely be a I'm a, I'm a restarter for sure okay did I, just, did I hear turkeys are we on the second floor we're on the first floor still oh no okay okay bringing it back in a little bit we're falling to the chaos there's our Monty up there. That's unfortunate. We're just gonna call it a wash for that Monty, I think. Dunka, 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 dunk. I did hear a turkey, dude. Oh, he got me. You got me. Ah, ah! You got me twice, dude. But three times, hell no. 
so we can take a turkey down to the next floor that'll give us potentially three turkeys on the turkey floor or if this is the Ujedi floor we can make that whole process a lot similar or a lot simpler rather Send you right there. Plant a bomb right there. This, I think, is the our game plan for the future for getting Oh boy, we're taking a lot of dumb damage here. Getting a little bit unfocused, but I think we're fine here. If we can get up to 3 HP by the time we're leaving this floor, 3 HP with the Ujet Eye and Spring Boots, okay. I'll take those any day of the week. Well, not any day of the week. Specifically, a couple of days earlier this week, I probably wouldn't have taken those. Um, okay, okay. So, we can help our HP a lot here. Normally, I think I would probably kill that shopkeeper just straight up. But I don't think that happens in this case. He's got a lot of bombs. But we can almost just buy those bombs. In fact, we can just buy those bombs, and I'm probably going to just buy those bombs. Take care of this lizard bro first. We got 40 seconds left. Dunk, 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 dunk. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, shopkeeper. We are friendly. We love shopkeepers. Yes. Everything's copacetic, brother. Mostly because I have one HP. Okay, so now we are on our turkey floor. I've been using the turkey's like glide mechanic a lot more lately. And it's been feeling pretty nice. Okay, the second turkey. The game could taunt me with a uh, Kali altar somewhere around here, and I would probably be mad, but not all that mad at the same time. Oh no, the ghost bot, dude. All right, this is gonna be sketchy. Sorry, final Torquey. Uh, sorry, final HP. Oh, <laughs> the ghost bot got us. That'll happen, that'll happen. We were doing well there though. I think that we, like sometimes the ghost pot just accidentally breaks. There's not a ton you can do about it when it does. Except just try to go fast. Okay, that's pretty rude. But it's actually, it's so funny how well they like instill a blood lust in you. Because you get the Kapala, which we're, I promise you, going to get on an actual YouTube video at some point. Um, but you get this item that like gives you... Um, It just gives you, like, you pick up the blood that enemies drop. That enemies have always dropped, you know. 
some amount of blood. And then it turns it eventually, it'll like fill up and then eventually turn into HP. Yo, this is a good floor. Hello is a really good floor. Could have taken our time on that one, but paid out. Make it? All right, you made it. We're going to be leaving this floor feeling pretty good about ourselves and our run. Bombs? Nine bombs, four ropes. No moles at the exit to give us grief. And 14,000 monies. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Dunk a dunk. But yeah, so we really want... We want Kapala runs to happen. I think all of my good runs that I've had so far have been Kapala runs. This is just... Awful, dude. What do I even do about this? Like... I tank the hit? So it doesn't anger the shopkeeper? Nah, that ain't happening. I hope that the shopkeeper just yeets himself. That's what happens. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. He's learning or something. Okay. Well, that was an unfortunate turn of events, for sure. The game really wanted us to kill the shopkeeper there. We got basically nothing out of it, to be honest with you. There is a Kapala chance. I don't think we have the resources to make that happen, though. Oh, got hit on the way down. Yang is dead. So here's the thing. We're gonna do some light, light Kapala. On the ghost to get a little bit of Kapala action. I think that that's probably worth it. We easily, easily could have died there, but we're at 7 HP currently, and hopefully we're hurting for ropes for sure. I think that legitimately we need to go down here. We just actually do need to go down here. This is an interesting one. Okay. A little nerve-wracking playing around those spikes for sure. 
But we got the eye the, of Ujet. We got bombs. We're gonna have to use bombs to get out of this situation. We want to save our bombs whenever we can for the shopkeeper at the end of the level, but this is a worthwhile endeavor, I'd say. Yeah, okay, we'll almost certainly kill himself. This guy is going to be a little bit harder to deal with. Yeah. Oh. Think we can get him? Come on. There we go. We got to get out of here. Whew. I think there might have been a shop there too that I missed. Oops. So there's definitely no sacrifices on this floor. But we have the chance. Man, we don't even have spike shoes. Ooh, this is nice. An actual block for our kitty cat. Know the drill on this guy. Get him to come back over. Hit him once. Check him. Hit him again. He blows up. That's fine. We can take the HP on that. Make a quick run back for Mr. Monty. This feels smooth, man. This is, uh, you know, the time and effort that we've been putting into this game has definitely, definitely been paying off. And it feels good to have runs that feel good, you know what I mean? We're basically just like, if we can get the Kapala, if we can get uh, not hit right here, oh, it's beautiful, dude. Oh, you thought. I, but yeah, like if we can get the Kapala, if we can get uh, some of the shopkeeper nonsense sort of calmed down. Go, go get him, Hired Help. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whenever you're least expecting it, they climb those ladders, dude. That is ridiculous. Well, we're probably going to call it there. We'll have a... Probably be doing a couple more runs today, but we might make it into a separate video. Didn't make it nearly as far, but we had some really, really good uh, time in the... What are these called? They're not the caves. They're something else. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, though. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. I know it's a little bit, uh, it's a lot less story-driven than a lot of the other stuff we've done on the channel, but this is kind of the the model of YouTube channel that I was kind of wanting to go for from the start, but not having the time to do. Now that I have a little more free time, we can get a little bit more stuff like this done. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube thing, because that's what YouTube's here to do. I'll see you around.